and paper artisans it's Chandra with stock and stuff I am here for home for the holidays day one and the first thing that I wanted to do this month is uh, do a tutorial because I had a lot of people going back looking at different craft fair projects and I was asked for a tutorial on my apron box with the acetate insert so I wanted to um, take a moment and do that for you all the, for the first day. So whenever you are you know, having to create your own measurements, I suggest doing a prototype out of some paper that you don't care about just to try to see what you um, end up with. And I, so the, the key is to know what the key is to know what you're going to put in your box and make your measurements from there. So I've made them a couple of different ways, but I think that having an inch uh, inside your box is the best for what I'm trying to do for my, for my project. And I use this for T for two, and I do a couple of tea bags, some Biscoff cookies, some type of sweetener, um, and so it, an inch is a, is a good size. I may throw a candy cane or two in there as well. But what I wanted to, to, to tell you then is once you decide what your, how wide you want your box to be, then you need to add a half an inch on each side. So ha add an inch and you're gonna score half an inch on each side, um, and, and also the other pieces, you need to know what the height is here on your apron because all apron boxes are different. And so you need to know what the height height of it is and you need to know, um, and you need to know how wide you want it to be. The width from the part that will be the um, box and then how wide. So, so what I did, so I'm gonna show you on paper. So, you know, when I say score half inch, this one is less than an inch, but you're going to score half. And then um, you're also going to score at one and three quarters of an inch. And then you're going to cut the flaps there. Just, and that is so that it will curve around the bottom of the box. Now, I wasn't able to work with the acetate and make one long strip. So I always end up with two two of these. Um, and so the measurement I use for this, if you happen to have this box or this die, is two by four and three quarters. And that gets me to halfway down the bottom of the box. Um, and I'll show you here one without the base in there. And so um, it, it, gets me, it gets me more than half because they kind of overlap. And so once you have it cut, use your tear tape, um, you know, and really burnish it on there. And then I do, um, and I just kind of did phases so I could show you without doing it on camera because I always tend to bump. Um, I, you know, put it down one side, fold it in the other side, fold it in and square it off. And then, you know, I really try to get it squared off and close to the edges so that it's going to stand up nice and flat um, and then I'm going to put the other side on on top of there to create my my box that stands up and then I added um, let's see can you see that I added just a strip it's an inch by about three and one sixteenth um, because that's how long, you know long my die is. Again, you have to use your own die just to give it a base. And I put, um, I just put 
tape on the ends of that piece of paper. Uh, I didn't flip it the other way around so that the design was outside because I was using a printed acetate. This is Cricut acetate. I have a pad of it and I'm using red on my red ones, red polka dot, and then I'm going to use a silver on my green because I think I used up all my green last year. So it's pretty simple. The key is to figure out what your measurements are um, in order to make yours. And if you figure out, you know, the key to getting it all the way around, it's just that the acetate is just hard to work with to try to get it to wrap all the way. So two pieces was easier for me to make sure that I had everything even. So I'll post a picture at the end of this video of my finished aprons. Hopefully I can get that in here because I'm kind of working on the fly. I got to run to New Orleans to, um, the day before I'm, this video goes up. So I'm going to edit early. So I may not be completely done, but if not, I'll try to at least get one. And I will also link the old video where I show you the finished product. So for those that haven't watched it, you can go and see what the heck I'm talking about because um, I was just trying to um, help the viewers and subscribers who asked for a tutorial. So this is Home for the Holidays, day one, 2023, hosted by Poet Spice. And I have listed in the description box all of the other collaborators. Please go check them out. Thanks, have a great day.